Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your host, Rising Oblivion. Today, guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about Kingdom Hearts coming over to PC from the Epic Game Store on March 30th. So, that's just a couple of days away from the release date of this video. So, we're going to be able to play Kingdom Hearts very, very soon here on PC, which I think is super cool. And I'm glad that finally we're getting to have these games on PC and getting it open to a new market of people who've probably never played the games before that. And just getting able to run these games on PC is pretty nice. Potentially some better frames here. It might look a little bit better. You can have a 4K monitor. These games might look pretty damn nice on a PC. However, there is a bit of a price issue when it comes to these. Now, currently on the PlayStation Store, these prices are actually mirrored. They're exactly the same, but there's a certain package, and we'll get to that here soon, that really makes buying this stuff on PC pretty obsolete. So I understand if the PC is the only thing you have, and you still want to purchase these games, it totally makes sense, but I want to go down and break down what's in each of these packages basically here, which one is giving more bang for your buck, and really which ones make sense for the price tag. So Kingdom Hearts Melody and Memory isn't much of a focus here. I mean, that game is still relatively new. It makes sense why it's still $60. That kind of makes sense in, you know, some ways. Kingdom Hearts 3 has the Remind DLC attached to it, so it sort of makes sense for that to also be $60 as well. So these two relatively sort of make sense, but still PlayStation does have the all-in-one bundle, but we'll get to that here soon. So let's jump right into Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 and 2.5 Remix. So in my opinion, this right here honestly seems to be the most bang for your buck. So Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 are technically two separate, I guess you could say, remaster collections. Remaster collections meaning they had multiple games included in one. So Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 had Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories, and Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days, which is just a HD remastered cinematic. So technically within 1.5 HD, there were three games in there Two of them were playable, one was a cinematic cutscene. 2.5 Remix, however, was Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix, and Kingdom Hearts Recoded, which is also a cinematic remaster. So these two are very similar. You get two playable games, and then you get a you know long cinematic thing. But this is all squished together. It's 1.5 plus 2.5 Remix put all together. So you're getting four playable games and two long cinematic things all for the price of 50 bucks so it isn't 60 dollars which is nice now personally i think this is the best price technically that you could have for the amount of games you're going to be getting and the amount of gameplay they are not newer games this is technically going to be the oldest games within the kingdom hearts series but i think personally this is a good place to start if you've never played kingdom hearts this package honestly is amazing you're going to get a ton of story and a lot of people consider Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix and Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix to even now be the best in the Kingdom Hearts series. I personally sort of stand by that to even today. I knew I do like the newer games. I think they're still good, but Kingdom Hearts 2 has a special place and so does Birth by Sleep. And they're honestly so good. And getting to have the Final Mix versions of both Kingdom Hearts 2 and for Kingdom Hearts adds so much story, adds more content to the game, and for $50, this honestly isn't too bad, to be completely honest. So this is pretty good. However, this has been sold for so much cheaper on other places like the PlayStation Store during sales, so there probably is going to be sales going on about this. So not a terrible thing to look forward to when it actually comes to that. So that is a $50 price tag. Kingdom Hearts 3 plus Remind, Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memories, $60 each. Then you have $50 for this one. Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue is a different story. So Kingdom Hearts Final Chapter Prologue is $60 still, which includes three things as well. Dream Drop Distance, which is a HD remaster of a 3DS game. The Kingdom Hearts X back cover movie, which is uh, similar to like some of the other movies we had within the other like 1.5 and 2.5 remasters, except... This is actually a little bit different. This one has a lot more to do with the mobile game and sort of links into some of the plot stuff that we end up seeing in Kingdom Hearts 3 in some ways. Towards the end, not so much towards the beginning, but it does have a little bit to do with that. Then we have Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Birth by Sleep a Fragmentary Passage, which does link directly to Kingdom Hearts 3 and some of the key element characters that are also within that. So this right here, I think is honestly probably the worst thing out of all of these now don't get me wrong i love this stuff and i love birth by sleep fragmentary passage but 
$60 for this stuff is still pretty crazy to think about. It's $60, you're getting one playable game, the other one's a movie, and the other one is really just a four or five hour long demo of kind of what Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be it is a key point in the story. It's definitely good to, you know, have, but if you really want to miss out on this one, you probably could and just look up stuff. It honestly doesn't affect too much. You could jump straight into Kingdom Hearts 3 and honestly still be okay if you did not even play this. This right here really has to be a lot of the Square Enix stuff and them trying to... Oh my god, look at the ratings. <laughs> 50%. I mean, this always is whatever. It doesn't mean a whole lot, but... You can tell by the community, just the people here, this really is a kind of a big ripoff when it actually comes to the amount of content you're getting. This really should be probably even, you know, cheaper than 1.5 plus 2.5. 1.5 plus 2.5 remakes makes 2.8 honestly look kind of sad. And the amount of content you're getting, there really just isn't a lot there. You're really only getting one full game in 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. That's really all you're getting. You're getting at least two full-fledged games and 1.5, 2.5 Remix alongside the two GBA games, which, keep in mind, aren't as short as demos as what you're getting in 2.8's, like, sort of extra content. You're getting a full-fledged two Kingdom Hearts games, two of the other side games, and two movies, which, honestly, for 50 bucks is very good. It just so happens that they're the oldest within the series, so I think that's why they're giving out the price tag, but it's not based off of value. It's based off of how old they are. So this right here honestly has some of the best value possible. 2.8 really isn't giving you the most bang for your buck, but it is still, like I said, still has some good critical moments and things like that within Kingdom Hearts 3, but Kingdom Hearts 3 does do a pretty decent job in explaining stuff to you when it comes to the storyline, but Let's jump into Kingdom Hearts 3 here and talk about what all we're kind of getting included for this. So Kingdom Hearts 3, I guess you could say, is still somewhat newer. However, there have been a bunch of sales in the PlayStation Store that sort of, you know, make this be a little bit cheaper when it comes to the PlayStation Store. So this is full price, like I said, but it does come with something very important, and that is the Remind DLC. So the Remind DLC does a good job on... Pretty much wrapping up the Kingdom Hearts 3 story and wrapping up the Xehanort Saga. So the Xehanort Saga pretty much ends right here when it comes to the whole Kingdom Hearts thing with the Xehanort and Sora and fighting the Heartless and everything else. Kingdom Hearts 3 really wraps up that you know sort of saga. Once you play all the older games, Kingdom Hearts 3 is good, but it wasn't something that I think a lot of the fans wanted, but it was still, in my mind, I still consider this game to be very good. And the Remind DLC does give a lot of the stuff that a lot of the fans were wanting that they did not receive in Kingdom Hearts 3. So honestly, this was $60. I don't think it's too bad, honestly, because the Remind DLC has been targeted mostly as being 20 to 30-ish dollars when it comes to the PlayStation Store. But the real letdown here is the fact that the PlayStation Store does have a bundle for all of these games, and why they did not do this on the Epic Game Store, for the life of me guys, I cannot understand. Because if you buy all these together, you want all the Kingdom Hearts experience, you even want Kingdom Hearts Melody Memory, which is technically just going to be a bit of Kyrie's story, and for the most part it's a rhythm game dealing with the music, however it does have some story elements tied in within it, so there are some stuff in there. but. 1.5, 2.5, the best bank for your buck. The worst bank for your buck is 2.8. Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind at least gives you that last bit of DLC, which is nice and wraps up and concludes the story. Melody of Memory, in my opinion, is more of a... You've experienced everything, but you still want a little more Kingdom Hearts, and you just might really appreciate the music, like I do. I absolutely love the Kingdom Hearts music. It's, it's phenomenal. It really, really is. It's phenomenal. And another thing to keep in mind before we continue on here is that some of the older games are also going to be a little bit easier to run. So this bundle right here, honestly, in my opinion, is probably the best thing that you can go for when it comes to your money. However, some sales, like I said, might make some of this stuff make a little more sense as to do it. But the real thing is here, we need the Kingdom Hearts all in one package because all of this stuff here together is $230. Yes, $230 to buy all of these games. So if you want the entire Kingdom Hearts story, all the Kingdom Hearts possible games out there that you can play, you could buy this all right here for $230. But that is kind of 
way too much way 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 too much if you go to the ps4 store go to the playstation store and you look up the all-in-one package you could get all of this content right here pretty much for just a hundred dollars and i don't think it includes the remind dlc or melody of memory but it will give you most of this content which is still nice you can just buy the remind dlc later and then wait for melody and memory to go on sale at some other point so if you're a person right now trying to decide whether or not you want to buy this stuff on pc or if you want to buy it on the playstation store the playstation store is a better place to do it but however if you're stuck with the pc best chances and this is what you should probably do is just stick to 1.5 2.5 and as you're playing through those if you realize that there is more that you want to play later wait till these hit on sale and you'll get the most amount of your money and you'll get the most amount of content a lot of times the kingdom hearts stuff does go on sale a lot in the playstation store and the epic game store from what i have seen has actually done a pretty good job on doing a lot of sales so i wouldn't be surprised if we see this stuff on sale in the future and especially if a lot of people don't pre-purchase this but this has been my little video here talking about this. I don't hate on the Kingdom Hearts community. I absolutely love it. But in order for us to get our voices out there and get our opinions out there, we kind of have to speak with our wallets, guys. And that's just really the end of it. You know, that's sort of how it is with Square Enix. But I will see you all in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe for more content. Click the bell to be notified whenever I make a new video or when I go live. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching.